Welcome back to my channel. My name is Letitia if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup video. Yay! I know there's been a number of you that have been requesting for me to do a makeup video. So here I am today. I'm about to do one for you guys. I am a professional makeup artist. I've been doing it for several years. I worked at MAC and I had a career shift. I was blessed to be able to step into modeling. I'm a plus size model now and I still am a makeup artist and I still have a love and a knack for makeup and I just want to be able to share some updated tips and routines that I've been doing lately. So that's what I'm going to do today for you guys. <laughs> so uh, today I'm going to do like more of my go-to updated makeup routine which is more of like a natural you could say makeup. Yes yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing this video please keep watching. To begin with I've already prepped my skin with the Le Mer Serum Essence and the I'm not even gonna attempt to say it but this <laughs> lip hydrating mask this is incredible oh my gosh it smells so good it's like strawberries it's so delicious <laughs> So I never really was a big foundation wearer. Uh, if you guys watched my old videos, you would see that I'm obsessed with MAC Face and Body Foundation. It's very light. How I like to describe that foundation is like tinted water. Today, I'm going to be using the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in a medium. I actually think I need it a little bit darker, but oh well. <laughs> we'll just make do. <laughs> so I just put some on my uh, palette and I'm going to use my beauty blender and just press it into the skin. I don't really like wear heavy foundation on my skin. My skin has been breaking out, but um, if I feel like I need foundation or anything, I sort of, yeah, just use face and body or this NARS tinted moisturizer. And so I'm just sort of pressing it into my skin. Start in the center of the face and then just bounce it out. I sort of just wear it for a tint to be honest, like I don't really wear it for coverage. So for brows, I've sort of changed my brow situation a little bit. Um, I used to do them really intense, I really don't do that anymore. Um, so I'm using the Precisely Brow uh, Pencil by Benefit in shade number 5 and I sort of just fill in the middle and underneath my brow just to give it a little bit more definition. I just sort of brush the product up so it looks a little more natural. Like I don't like it when the brows are too like blocky and solid. I use from Glossier the brow gel to just like lift the brows up a bit so they look a little bit more fluffier. Next I'm going to be using by Glossier their mascara, it's called Lash Stick. I love this because it's really natural, it's not like super intense and like crazy. My makeup routine has definitely, um, it, it's become a lot more subtle than what it used to be. Uh, just because I have so many people doing, makeup artists doing my makeup regularly when I'm modeling, so I just find that I want to let my skin breathe and just not go overboard. <laughs> I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes as well because that really opens up the eyes. Don't forget the bottom lashes, guys, because that really makes your eyes look a lot bigger. Then I go into concealer. So I use the MAC uh, Studio Finish Concealer Palette and I'm using NW25 to conceal under my eyes. So I just take my ring finger and just dab underneath the eyes. I've really toned down my makeup like, compared to what it used to be back in the day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would never do this. It would be like super crazy heavy, like layered. I've definitely toned it down a lot. So I just use NW25 to neutralize because it has a pink tone and I just have a little bit of darkness underneath my eyes. I'm just going to set that under eye area really quickly with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. I'm surprised I don't remember this. I've been using it for years. <laughs> Oh, sugars. I'm just going to press a little bit underneath the eye just so that doesn't move. It stays put. While that's settling, I'm just going to do a really subtle contour with the Anastasia Foundation Stick in Mink. And I put like the tiniest amount. Like, can you see? Like, it's so small. 
We're gonna do a little bit through there as well. Um, and then I just blend it out. And this is a, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I think it's by Morphe. So I'm just gonna pull my cheeks in so that I follow my bone structure. And bring it up into the hairline. I'm gonna spot conceal with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer Palette. I'm just gonna take the shades that are closest to my skin tone and just dab over the, the areas that I have with blemishes. I just, I would prefer you see like more of a natural wow. That was way too loud. I, I like to just press the concealer over the areas as opposed to wearing a heavier foundation and con covering my entire face. I'd rather wear a lighter weight foundation where you can still see the texture of my skin, like the freckles and little bits and pieces that are going on in your skin and then spot conceal over the areas that are a little bit more problematic. Um, just because I find it looks a little bit more natural. Next, I have not gotten over this, the Hoola Bronzer by Benefer. I just use a angled brush. This one's by Zoeva and it is number 127. I like to place it around my temple, my cheekbone, and my jaw, in the areas that sort of recede and aren't the highest highlighted parts of your face, because that's where you place a highlighter. I've been loving cream blushes and like tints and stuff, so I've been trying a few different ones. I do like the Guerlain, Guerlain, I could not say it. I really like that one. Um, and there's um, one by NARS that I really like in Orgasm. And this one I really like at the moment. This one is, oh, and I like the Glossier one, the Glossier Cloud Paint. They're really, really good. I've been liking this one at the moment. This is the Milk Maker Work. I think it's called Work, Lip and Cheek Tint. <laughs> and I just put a little bit on my cheeks, like on the apples, like a little fake smile. <laughs> And then I just dab it in. I just feel like it gives you really young, flush, like rosy sort of look. I, I never used to like blush. Like when I was younger, when I was, you know, doing makeup, like what, nearly 10 years ago, I would avoid blush like it was the plague. And now I'm like, ooh, I like looking rosy. <laughs> and then for highlight, Another cream, I've changed so much. I use the Milk Makeup Halo Scope. I don't know what this is. Moonstone. It's sort of like a whitish green tinge. I can't, exp I can't explain. It sort of reflects a beautiful cool tone, which I really, really like. And I just sort of dab it on my cheekbones, on the highest point of my cheekbones, a little bit down the bridge of the nose and at the tip to lift my nose <laughs> and Cupid's bow. And it's just super subtle. See, it's not like intense and like blinding, like it's just my vibes changed a little bit. <laughs> and for lips, I am obsessed with the Marc Jacobs Nudist Lip Liner. It's so beautiful, the color, it's like, it's just like natural lip shade and I love that. So I sort of start at the Q-Hood's bow, line it a little bit, and then and then I bring it up from the sides and make it rounder. And you can use your little pinky finger to rest on your face so that you have a little bit more control over the pencil and where it goes. And last but not least is gloss. Shit, where is my gloss? <gasps> I usually have five of them laying around. Wait, hang on, let me go back. Found my gloss. This is my favorite one. I'm obsessed with it. It's a cheapie, but I'm telling you it does the job. But It is Madeline by NYX. It's such a beautiful color like a really nice neutral gloss. I'm just gonna go back into that um, Ben Nye powder in Cameo and just sort of press into my chin and my forehead because my skin has really changed lately. Um, it's become a little bit oilier and just like I've been breaking out a lot, like my body's changing a little bit. So yeah, this is pretty much the completed look this usually takes me about five to ten minutes really to do it's super simple 
like how many products did I use? I used one, two, about 10 products that I used. Some of them are optional. Some of them you don't really need to use at all. It's just my preference, but this is my go-to makeup look. It's my updated natural-esque makeup look, you could say. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of this video. Please let me know what you would like to see in the future because I am going to be doing some more makeup tutorials for you. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will make sure I respond to you. And thank you so much for watching today. I love you and have a blessed one.